And we welcome you back. Thanks for sticking with us here. The recent severe weather impacting more than just people, right, but animals as well. And tonight, we've learned because of that, the Sacramento Zoo, they're going to be closed the rest of the week. The damage there, so bad, they had to move three groups of animals from their main enclosure. Ashley Sharp joins us live from the zoo now with the behind the scenes look you'll see only on CBS 13. Ashley. Hey guys, I'm actually right across the street from the Sacramento Zoo where we're seeing this scene all throughout Land Park. These massive toppled trees. And as you can imagine, this is not the site that you want to see near wild animal enclosures. Lemurs, meerkats, and otters. Oh my. They have to be back outside. All three animal groups were evacuated to safer ground at the Sacramento Zoo amid back to back damaging storms. Today, Kai and Jackson, our North American River otters, got to go back out. For their safety and ours, when the rain and winds roar, large animals are confined to the inside only part of their enclosure. So, obviously, making sure carnivores stay locked in because that would be a bad thing if the carnivores got out. Now it's cleanup on Isle Zoo. We had many trees down, structural damage, so we've got a long road ahead of us. Mother Nature ran wild with strong winds toppling 10 trees in the zoo, damaging fencing and two animal enclosures. It's been a busy and trying two weeks for us, and we're looking forward to drying out, getting the zoo back open. There we go. The meerkats remain evacuated at the animal hospital. To make sure they stay safe from crushing limbs, they should be clear to go back in the next day or two. They're very curious, but also very scaredy cat. The mongoose lemurs were already moved to this temporary enclosure when tree limbs came crashing down through their home. So they have that sturdy mesh uh, along the outside, but um, with enough force, uh, holes can get poked into it. So they'll remain here until it's fixed. <coughs> Disaster planning, a day to day operation at the zoo. If the power goes out, do we have generators? Who needs to stay warm? We stockpile special foods and medicine. We have staff on call. We keep extra staff here. Keeping the wild tame and hoping the weather does the same. Now, the Sacramento Zoo is hoping to reopen on Saturday, but they will remain closed until the zoo is safe and accessible. Now, just a reminder the zoo is a nonprofit, so the best way that you can support them and the animals is to purchase a ticket, maybe even a membership, to come out when the weather is a little bit better. Yeah, what an insightful inside look at those animals. Mm -hmm. Ashley, thanks.